Human trafficking, it's the fastest growing form of international crime. Nearly 36 million people today have been trafficked into forced labor and sexual exploitation. One in three of known victims are children. If you don't know what the problem is, you won't see it. This is a crime that is invisible unless you're aware of what it looks like. Our traffickers today use technology to target the young and the gullible uh, into trafficking. So how do we combat that? The scale of this modern-day slavery is made possible by the explosion of mobile and internet technology. But advocates are now using that same tech in the fight against traffickers. Trafficking uh, has existed forever. Um, we had the transatlantic slave trade. Slavery existed in most societies long before that. And so I think realistically the exploitation of people is something that we are going to struggle with for a very, very long time to come. When you have 21 million of this planet's population in effective slavery, half the trafficking victims are based out of this region in Asia. It's quite disturbing where the reported cases are less than 3,000. Technology has not generally been a, a key feature in our collective response. And it's very clear that criminals are using technology, information technology, far more efficiently and, and, and more often than we are in responding. Social media, the dark net, and mobile phones have given traffickers powerful tools to recruit, advertise, and organize, as well as spread child sexual abuse materials. It's actually quite a uh, dangerous arm race between the traffickers versus uh, folks like ourselves in government agencies that are actually trying to do social good. This is our opportunity to use the technologies we create and emerging technologies that we think will be particularly helpful in addressing this issue. What we're really trying to do is leverage innovation in technology and supply chains for better data collection and sharing in sectors that are known for human trafficking. There are technology available now through cloud, very affordable, highly scalable technology, along with education that can go a long way to stop the tide. With vulnerable and young lives at stake, this digital arms race is heating up. Private sector companies have developed cutting-edge data tools for law enforcement agencies. We've got a number of technologies that Microsoft has invested in, and what we tend to do is try to create these as free services for either law enforcement or other organizations to use to build up and bolster their efforts in this area. One of these technologies is called PhotoDNA, it's an image matching technology used to break down a photograph into a unique mathematical fingerprint. Out of roughly 1.8 billion unique images uploaded online each day, PhotoDNA is able to use that fingerprint to find copies of child pornography images. Today, PhotoDNA is used by Interpol and social media companies to disrupt the spread of child sexual abuse materials. We have a Guardian application that we built that's in use in India. This is an application that's on mobile technology that really is an alert button on a phone that allows those who feel that they are at risk, the vulnerable in the population, to, if you will, reach out with a distress signal to the law enforcement agency and or to their private or personal network. These are evolutions in our progress. Um, we've seen examples of the sixdegree.org portal that IOM has launched with Microsoft, which is an opportunity for private citizens to contribute to the, the reintegration and, and humanitarian support of individual victims of trafficking. And we're hoping that will also build a movement of people behind the effort to address this problem comprehensively. The Six Degree Portal was really to establish an emotional connection between donors and victims. If you think of Six Degrees and the name of Six Degrees, Within six degrees of human contact, you literally reach everyone in the world. So we want this to be pervasive, we want this to get a global reach, and we want to connect donors with victims. Information technology will continue to play a critical role in disrupting human trafficking, defending the most vulnerable at the ever-increasing speed of data. <laughs>